dynamics it is the branch of mechanics which deals with the study of the object which are in motion when considering the forces acting on it means the forces which are responsible for the circular motion it is considered here so again we can use the diagrammatic representation for this dynamics of circular motion in case of dynamics we are interested find out the forces which are responsible for this circular motion let us consider again let it be o be the center of the circle okay the particle is moving along this circumference of circle let us consider the particle is at point p okay and the velocity of this particle is denoted like this which is called as the linear velocity okay again we can represent this is the radius vector or the position vector now the particle is moving along the anti clockwise sense of rotation it is shown in the figure now when the particle is moving along the circumference of circle we know the velocity goes on changing because the direction of the velocity goes on changing okay and because of the changing direction of this velocity there acceleration which is produced here acting along the radius and towards the center of circle and this acceleration it is denoted as a ar so you can remember here ar is called as radial or centripetal acceleration radial or centripetal acceleration why this word is used as a radial because it is along the radius towards the center so you will find this it is called as the centripetal acceleration and in the 11th standard we have seen this centripetal acceleration it is also denoted as two symbol ar radial acceleration or ac centripetal acceleration which is given by the formula v square upon r or r omega square so this formula already we have seen in the eleventh standard that is the formula for radial or centripetal acceleration means whenever you will observe the particle is moving along the circumference of circle the direction of the velocity goes on changing so there will be the one acceleration which is a produce acting along the radius towards the center of circle so this is the centripetal or radial acceleration now when we consider about the force the force which is acting along the radius and towards the center of circle means the force which is acting in this direction because we are interested to explain about the dynamics we want to know the forces which are responsible for circular motion so you will find this is the centripetal acceleration now we can find out the force which is acting in this direction which force is responsible for circular motion we know according to the newton's second law f is equal to ma we know this acceleration if this acceleration is the centripetal acceleration then we can write centripetal force centripetal force which is equal to 
मास इनटू सेंट्रीपिटल एक्सेलरेशन सेंट्रीपिटल एक्सेलरेशन सो यू विल गेट द फॉर्मूला फॉर दिस सेंट्रीपिटल फोर्स इट इज डिनोटेड एज f is equal to m into v square upon r or if we put this value then this formula will become m r omega square so this is the formula for the centripetal force now again this force is the vector quantity this formula gives you the magnitude of force but if you observe the direction of the force then the name itself gives idea about that so how we can make the definition for this centripetal force definition how we can make the definition for the centripetal force the force which is acting along the radius towards the center of circle when the particle is performing the circular motion when the particle is performing the circular motion so you will get this is nothing but the definition of the centripetal force and this is the formula in which m it is the mass of the particle v is called as the linear velocity and r is called as the radius of the circle here omega it is called as the angular velocity now when we consider about This is our very important force, centripetal force. In short, it is also denoted as CPF. So it is called as the centripetal force. Now, when we consider about, there is the another force which is also acting when the particle is moving along the circular motion. Which is that force? So you know about. the two frame of references one is called as the inertial frame of reference and second is called as the non inertial frame of reference so you will find the another force which is acting here the force is called as the centrifugal force centrifugal force centrifugal force now already we have seen about this centripetal force we know this formula according to this but when we consider about this formula which is given here for the centripetal force we can write it in the vector notation also vector notation madhe apan sudha apan to represent karu shakto this centrifugal force in short it is a written as cff now this centrifugal force it is nothing but the effect of rotational motion means when we consider the force which is acting along the radius towards the center it is called as the centrifugal force but this centrifugal force is acting opposite to the centripetal force means if this is the position of the particle you will find there is a certain force which is pushing the particle in this direction so if we observe this direction this is the direction of this centrifugal force if you observe that this direction is for centripetal force this direction is of centripetal force and this is the direction of centrifugal force so if you observe this then this centripetal force is kept this particle in a safe distance to continue its circular motion but this centrifugal force is acting away from the center so if you observe here the centripetal force and the centrifugal force both are opposite in direction but though they are opposite in direction their magnitude is always the same so this centrifugal force 
we can write the formula for this centrifugal force is given as mv square upon r or yamar omega square or mvw if you observe this you can use this relation v is equal to r omega so for this r and omega one omega you can put this v here so you will find this is the formula for centrifugal force this formula also can be written in the vector form also so you will find that it is given in the scalar form but if you observe this centrifugal force it is not a real force it is a not a real force means it is called as pseudo force pseudo force means non real force it is not imaginary force it is not imaginary force it is a not real force so this is called as the pseudo force and we know this pseudo force is arises in not in the shear frame of reference non inertial frame of reference means if we consider this pseudo force which is not a real force that is pulling the particle in outward direction it arises due to non inertial frame of reference non inertial frame of reference means if any particle which is moving around this direction so there will be always pull of that particle which is in the outward direction which is in the outward direction so the centrifugal force it is called as the effect of the rotation the effect of the circular motion just like centripetal force are it is responsible for circular motion while the centrifugal force is the effect of the circular motion so such a way that you will get the information related to this so this is the formula which is very very important if you want uh, to write this uh, vector notations then you can remember we can take only those vectors ani tyacha dokyavarti apan vector form devu shakto now when we consider about this is the information it is related to the forces during this circular motion so it is a considered under dynamics it is considered the dynamics so here we have thinking about the two forces that is the centripetal force and the centrifugal force okay so these are the two forces which are related to this circular motion now when we consider about the forces in a circular motion there are many mala question chala jao shakto distinguish between the centripetal force and the centrifugal force shakya to distinguish che je point ahe te don marka sathi apnala vicharle jata so centripetal force and centrifugal force okay so first you can write the first point as a definition centripetal force kasa ahe along the radius along the radius towards center of circle towards center of circle the force when the particle is in circular motion the force acting on the particle which is along the radius towards the center of circle it is called as the centripetal force here how we can define the centrifugal force it is the pseudo force it is the pseudo force which is acting along the radius along the radius but along the along the radius but away from center of circle 
away from the center of circle. So you will get like this is the first point. The second is centripetal force. It is a real force. It is a real force. Here we can write it is a pseudo force. Pseudo force means pseudo means which is not real. P S E U D O. Pseudo force. Thirdly, we can write it arises in inertial frame of reference. It arises in inertial frame of reference. So here we can write it arises in non-inertial frame of reference. Non inertial frame of reference. Okay? So you will find these are the few points, and again, you can consider the examples here due to which you will get the idea about this. Centripetal force of the Samchak that is a motion of a moon. Motion of a moon around earth motion of moon around earth now in this example you will find earth is bounded with the moon or moon is bounded with the earth because of the certain gravitational force of attraction because of the earth when the chandra ha prithvi bhoti golakar margane firtale ya ghatne madhe cpf cha kaam karnara ha gravitational force between earth and moon earth and moon tumcha lakshat aalele ase ki itha jo centripetal force ahe a centripetal force konta ahe to gravitational force between earth and moon je ya tikane apan je real forces mantoy tyachyamadhe teen forces yatta akray madhe apan pahilele ahe gravitational force ahe electromagnetic force ahe ani nuclear force ahe okay so you will find like this in case of the example of electron electron is moving around the nucleus which force is acting here like a cpf because nucleus having the positive charge electron having the negative charge the both are bounded with each other so in case of the electron is moving in a permitted orbit around the nucleus the electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and electron nucleus will be positive charge electron will be negative charge are j plus and minus so this centripetal force is balanced with electrostatic force of attraction ashi bhagpur udaharana aplala ya thikani shodta yete related to the centrifugal force the one very important example that is related to the shape of earth shape of earth prithvi cha aakar jar apan pahila it is a flattened at the equator equator cha bazuna shi kubhiri diste ani varuna shi chapti diste so this shape of the earth that is a bulging at equator and flattening at the pole it is related to this effect which is called as the centrifugal force Similarly, another example is we know that is a dryer in washing machine. Dryer, dryer in a washing machine. This is also the example related to the centrifugal force. Again, we will find there are uh, the large examples that is a centrifuge machine. Centrifuge machine. It is also the example of this centrifugal force. 